As we all know, male sports athletes are the definition of model citizens. They are people who we should look up to and follow their lead. For example, we should look up to Deshaun Watson for his support of businesses that employ women. We should look up to Miles Bridges for his healthy child discipline. And of course, we should look up to Josh Primo for seeking psychological help as a man and breaking the norms. In all seriousness, the allegations against Josh Primo are absolutely wild. Now, if you don't know what is going on or who Josh Primo is, here's the rundown. Josh Primo is a slash was an NBA player who was on the Spurs. He was a five-star recruit from Royal Crown Private High School in Toronto and played ball for Alabama. Now, you probably don't care for his college stats, but here they are. In the one season he played for Bama, he averaged 8.1 points per game, 4.5 assists per game, and shot 38% from the three. He entered the 2021 NBA Draft as the youngest player in the draft and was projected to be a first round pick. In college, he showed flashes of being a good 3 point shooter and had a knack of getting himself open, but he did struggle sometimes in isolation and with decision making when he had the ball in his hands, with either turnovers or bad shots. He was a project player who was very young and needed a team that would allow him to develop. The Spurs saw potential and decided to draft him with their 12th overall pick as this Spurs team was going in a rebuild of sorts. They haven't made the playoffs since the 2018-2019 season after making them for 22 straight seasons. After the Spurs traded DeJounte Murray this past offseason for picks, they were expected to be tanking for Wim Banyama for their next Tim Duncan, even though they don't play similarly at all. Now, the problem arises that Greg Popovich knows how to get the most out of his players, as they are currently 5-4, they might be 5-5 five five or 6-4 after this video comes out, and the team looks decent. That ends my boring monologue. Now, there is trouble in San Antonio because of a certain someone, Primo, is letting his nuts hang. So here's the timeline for that. So on October 28th, Josh Primo was waived unexpectedly from the Spurs. This got the NBA community perplexed, since Primo was so young and was a lottery pick. Granted, his rookie season wasn't the best, but coming into this season, the Spurs were happy with the on-court progression that Primo was making. So far this season, for the few games Primo has played, even though his stats weren't all too great, his playmaking looked much improved as he was averaging 4.5 assists per game and the team was 3-1 when he played for them. Now, I know I'm stretching it and probably giving him too much of a credit for those wins, but I need him to have some importance for the Spurs. Now, Josh Primo did miss a game against the Timberwolves in... Minnesota. This is important to remember. He missed this game on October 26th for left glute soreness, according to the Spurs, which is funny, by the way. And many people didn't think it was a big of a deal. But when it came out that he was waived, a Reddit user commented that someone he knew said that Primo exposed himself to housekeeping at a Four Seasons in Minneapolis, which led to him being waived. The Spurs played the Wolves on October 24th and October 26th in Minnesota, so the time frame does work. Now at this time, no one knew why he was waived. It was assumed that he had to have done something crazy to be waived. I'm talking about something worse than domestic violence, like betting on NBA games, Calvin Ridley type beat. Now, Primo, shortly after his release, made a statement that he needed to take a step away from the team for mental health reasons from previous trauma he has suffered. So I thought maybe he was going through something and needed time for himself to regroup. It happens. On October 29th, it came out that Primo allegedly exposed himself to multiple women on multiple occasions, giving more plausibility to the Minnesota Reddit comment. A former Spurs employee, sports psychologist, alleged that Primo exposed himself to her multiple times and she hired Tony Busby to represent her case. Tony Busby is the lawyer representing the woman in the Deshaun Watson massage scandal. The girl said that she first reported the interaction with Primo to the Spurs management in January of 2022 because of an incident in December of 2021 but was ignored. By her numerous complaints, she was exposed to Primo's crown jewels nine times during individual private sessions. Primo had a rough childhood and she was helping him work through some personal issues. Now, sources close to Primo said that he never intentionally exposed himself to her and if he did, it was a wardrobe malfunction. Which means he has to be packing some serious heat, I mean Curry MVP level of heat, or Primo's wearing the shortest of shorts. I'm talking about 80s basketball shorts. Primo's team feels like he was taken advantage of by someone twice his age, which is an odd thing to say since Primo most definitely has the power advantage when it comes to situations like these, but who knows? Now, some pushback to the girl's accusation is why did she allow Primo to expose himself to her nine times? First things first, she allegedly did report Primo to the Spurs organization about one month after the incident. Secondly, she allegedly reported Primo multiple times to the Spurs organization and they did nothing. Now, the girl says that she lost her dream job because of these incidents and honestly, 
It's not unrealistic for her not to quit even after all these incidents. These positions are highly competitive and you can easily clear $100,000 for being a sports psychologist, especially an NBA one dealing with high profile athletes. If she were to quit, there's a good chance she wouldn't ever work for a sports organization of this caliber ever again. Interestingly enough, in the press conference, the girl Hillary is her name, said that she doesn't think Greg Popovich knew. Allegedly, two Spurs officials informed her in June that Popovich was aware of the incident and accusations, that it was being dealt with, but she doesn't think Pop was ever informed. Now, this is important since Pop has a certain image in the media as he can be brutally honest and seems like a good guy. Him knowing about this and covering it up would tarnish his reputation. Personally, I don't know if Pop knew. On one hand, it would make sense the Spurs would do whatever they could to cover up the situation because Primo was a lottery pick and was supposed to play a pivotal role in the future success of the franchise. Now, if someone on the team like Gorgi Ding, I don't know how to pronounce it, had the same accusation thrown at him, he would have been gone from the team back in January properly. On the other hand, especially in today's climate, for better or worse, an accusation like that would be taken seriously since if it wasn't, like supposedly this situation wasn't, it would seriously hurt the franchise's reputation, especially one like the Spurs. Overall, this situation for Primo is looking grim, especially since he wasn't picked up by anyone and he's most likely, or he probably did, lose his Nike contract he signed last year. Fortunately for him, a couple of weeks ago, the Spurs exercised his third year team option for Primo. He got $4.1 million and $4.3 million, so he still got the bag. Looking into the future, I think this situation will be settled and the girl and any other people who might have gotten a look at Primo's Mandingo will be seeing a payday. Primo is a young player, so he will serve some community time and after spending a year's time in the Turkish League, he'll be back for another team reformed. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe and adios.